for the first time as Sun Belt opponents in Harrisonburg and Atlantic Union Bank Center. Place, depending on what Louisiana does. Off we go from James Madison with App State controlling the tap. James Madison turns you over 19 times a game. That's most in the league. They give it away 15 a game, also most in the league. And into the that length a little bit more out, down on this end. Not playing as long as they actually are. Here's Gregory. Tough two, and he knocks it in. And that is, is his game. We lay off of the shot. Fake gave it up. And Tyree Iannaccio. Good pass down low. Tyree Boykin. And Tyree Boykin, another guy that can really score in bunches, can really get it going. A very good three-point shooter. Both teams off to a pretty good start here offensively. Sule off another shot fake attacking. And off the pivot leaves it short. And tonight the rebounding. James Madison very good on that. And Huntley knocks in a three from the corner. And now, see if we get another one. Edwards, yes, sir. Well, we splitting two, fall away. And Boykin knocks that in. And that's about as good of a possession as Dustin Kearns could ask for. Used 29 seconds of the shot clock. Got their leading score, Tyree Boykin. Another little mid-range game. And uh, so far, the Mountaineers off to a great start offensively shooting the ball. And then James Madison turns the corner. But it's plagued them the last couple days. The coverage plays. We see him great. And then App State controlling up a couple possessions. And here's Brown into the lane. And he gets fouled and scores. Well, it's their pace. Assume they're going to do right here. And 10 seconds. Park him on the drive. Gets past Friedel for the score. Absent. So, very hot start. Sing it. And now a shrunk possession for App State. Drive and kick. Here's Harkin for three. And he knock, knocks it in. Into the lane. Gives it up for Gregory. Eight to shoot. Back out for Harkin. And he drills another three. Into the hands of Edwards. Off a little stutter. And crafty finish at the rim. And, that and also leading and rebounding. Here's Boykin for three. And he got another one. Up in time. Just could not. But a great play again. App State going back to the... Uh, Zone great. But anyway, do you remember your thought before the dunk? Well, I don't. You get one game like that. As we see. Chris Mantis, with that doing what he does, just absolutely knocks down the three. But yes, back to your point, there's still a lot of basketball left to play, but they could end up looking back on that and saying that was a huge win. Nice pass from Strickland. Messi Offerman able to finish with the layup. We see an offensive foul here on the illegal screen. And a front end mid. Here's Harkham on the take, going inside. No, Huntley the follow. And you can see how minute, many minutes he can play, but a couple big runs for him in the first half. There's Boykin from the mid-range. He is just so such first, right? Exactly right. Here's Pearson. A little help came over, and Pearson oh, weaving man. his way to the rim. Great footwork Great on how he gets his guys focused. Maybe a little later on. Here's Pearson, back-to-back -back buckets for the big man. And a great and App State doing a great job on the offensive end of the court. Every time they've gotten a paint touch, they've got some 2-3 zone, a little bit of a matchup principle to it has been really, really effective. Now, the last couple times, James Madison has done a better job. Boykin holding those hands out like, what did I do? <laughs> yeah, it looked like pretty good defense. Going to get down threes. Terrific rebounder coming up with a big time offensive rebound when his team really, really needed it. And this is the offensive rebound. We just open this game wide open again for that, for the, excuse me, for the Mountaineers. And James Madison and Mark Byington got it down to nine points. They had scored 10 in a row. And since the timeout, they've gone score. Lap this game up a little bit, but you got to be able to handle the pressure. Each team with two timeouts left. The arrow does. They're going to foul at some point. So just be strong with the ball. One and one for Wooden. And he hits the front end. And they remind in the American. And Houston after today's result. Some more one and ones coming for App State. And true to that 90 percent when you have a big lead, you almost have a tendency to want to just kind of get out of the way because you don't want to foul. You got to almost. Here's Edwards inside a minute to go. Underneath, and Molson finishes it. James Madison with one timeout to go. James Madison is now down to their final timeout. If you're at stage, you've got to make sure of a couple things here. Get the ball in bounds, but don't run to the dead corner. They call it the coffin corner for a reason. Careless to give James Madison any sense of hope. Be strong with the ball. You know they're going to go into the line. Boykin a 75. And that's 
Holstein vacates the lane. And Boykin hits at the free throw line. Last trip down the three double digit scores tonight. Perhaps Morse can't find space. Off from to the rim, weaving in. And they get two instead of three. Just shaking his head over there, saying that is the absolute worst. And Offram makes it a three point play. And you see it right there. Justin Abson hit him right on the hand. Oh, Friedel. And missed them both. And Molson does hit the free throws this time. And he got them both. You want to keep it as normal as possible. Makes the big one right there. That should just about clinch it. But if there's time on the clock in this game, we're not giving up on it. Come at the line, seven point game, 90% foul shooter. And he's been. So eight point lead grows to nine. And James Madison had it down to six. Tyree Boykin, the top scorer. It took him 13 shots to get.